Hey, what's going on, my Providence Village neighbors? This is Chase Bouchbog with EXP Realty, and we're gonna go over the real estate market update for Providence Village. Also, touch on North Texas right now as well, so you can see more of the numbers where our neighborhood compares to the rest of the DFW Metroplex. So let's get a look, and we're gonna talk a little bit about mortgage interest rates, and this is mainly gonna cover January 2024. And we're going to start right here. This is where I recorded these numbers yesterday. Uh, again, if you're new to the Facebook group, please uh, follow the page. I'm trying to do this every week, every other week, give a market update for the neighborhood. And I want to start doing more videos of different things like um, homes for sale in the neighborhoods, things like that. And just talk a little bit more about the community for us homeowners. Uh, for the renters, if you're looking to buy and all that. So we're going to start with North Texas. This is covers Dallas, Collin, and Denton County. So these are the numbers for yesterday. Uh, new listings were at 151, a little bit down, but kind of average for the month of January. Uh, active listings, 1850, kind of staying the same, a uh, lot less down from the end of last year, as you can see. And again... In the winter months, uh, probably until end of February, March is when real estate usually starts taking a bump. But I have been seeing a lot of people start thinking about selling their homes in Providence Village as well. Uh, so we can start seeing that increase. Um, we're going to go over the numbers. Uh, price decreases, we had 139. It's a little bump as well with the real estate just slowing down pendings it kind of picked up in the last 30 days 647 pendings number of cancels we're at right at 21196 number of expires went down as well you can see the market is starting to try to pick up um right now still we're in the mid sixes for the uh interest rate if that number drops below six I could tell you we're going to start to see multiple offers on homes, definitely in the spring and summer months. So if you're looking to buy, it might be a good time to buy right now because not much is happening. Uh, real estate is starting to move, though, but you don't want to overpay when you start doing multiple offers on a home. You will have to overpay, and right now you can get a really good deal, uh, especially with interest rate buy downs as well. All right, closed, 682 homes closed. That is the lowest it's been in a long time. I mean, not even last year at this time. So number of closed is down. A days on market, we had 35. It's starting to come down. We're in, staying in the 30s. Got a little plateau right now. Active days on market as well is at 43. Uh... Let me go back to canceled. Uh, canceled. If you cancel a listing, it can mean multiple things. Kind of different from expired. Canceled. Uh, the homeowner just decides for some reason they want to take the home off the market. Then it could be canceled. That could be it failed to sell. They have a change of heart. They want to wait till springtime, most likely summer, to put it back on. And expires is when. Uh, so when you list a home, you have a listing agreement with a real estate agent, and it's usually it's a contract, and the contract has a beginning and end date. You could do two weeks, you could go all the way to a year, depending on the home price. But usually, a sweet spot is between three to six months listing home, and that kind of all depends on days on market. So if you're looking to sell your property, the average days on market in North Texas right now is. 35 so if you price your home right and everything your home doesn't need any updates it's pretty good uh you looking you could expect to sell your home or go under contract in 35 days all right uh that number can go up and down depending on where you price the home the condition in the home and all like and on some properties we are seeing starting to see multiple offers in some areas as well all right, medium home price in North Texas right now is 525. Close list price ratio. This is what buyers are offering on homes is under 1.74%, meaning if there's a $500,000 home or let's go to like our neighborhood, a $300,000 home uh, and buyers want to pay, you could... Uh, 
the buyer is going to offer around six thousand dollars less than the list price all right and interest rates at time of the recording 6.87 and this was before the feds announced the interest rate decision on it and uh again that's totally different from mortgage interest rates but it does it affect it a little bit and right now uh we're sitting at 6.63 so it did come down a little bit and in the past 90 days in north texas the average home price is 542 all right let's move over to providence village currently we've got 18 active homes for sale you can see where we're under that number in january we're going to start to see that number come back up Pendings, we're at seven. Uh, we usually stay around 30 homes for sale as active homes for sale. That's kind of the in inventory as well. So we're going to make our way up there. We kind of, we were half that in the holidays, winter month. So we're going to see that start to pick up. Uh, canceled, uh, we got two homes canceled. We'll probably see those homes pop back up in the springtime, May, April, May, March in that area expired zero expired uh closed homes we have 17 closed in the last 30 days it's probably equal that number days on market we're higher when 70 days on market compared to uh the rest of the dfw area so if you're listening in providence village kind of got to give it a little bit time this number will start to go down as well uh when more homes coming to market the interest rates are getting better the market's getting better as well so you're looking at uh two and a half months or two months right now if you list your home to get it under contract so be a little patient uh medium home price right now in providence village for the past 30 days this is going off of these 17 homes is right at 320 uh last 90 days we had 327 so that's pretty much where we add for the medium home price in providence village 328,000. right now uh close list price ratio buyers are paying uh kind of right at listing kind of a little bit under now probably get a percent under and again interest rates are at six six point six six and a half let's look at interest rates right now let's close the screen okay currently for a 30 year fixed interest rate right here we at 6.3 this is conventional uh jumbo loans if you're looking over million dollar million plus dollar homes you're looking at 7.12 that's with a 20 percent uh down payment as well uh fha we at six percent va loans at six percent as well so but that does it for the market update this week if you have any questions if you're looking uh if you know anybody looking to buy sell or move to the neighborhood looking for a lease or invest anywhere in dfw please let me know follow this facebook group as well for more market updates my all my contact information is right there and have a good one